I'm Major General Rick Nash, the Adjutant General for the Minnesota National Guard. I would like to welcome you to Hockey Day, Minnesota. Welcome, welcome to, to Hockey, Hockey Day, Day Minnesota. Minnesota. Happy Hockey Day! Hockey Day, Minnesota, an annual event for the state of hockey, was transformed into a special tribute in 2015. This year's event was hosted at St. Paul's Holman Field to honor the men and women of the Minnesota National Guard, 34th Combat Aviation Brigade, and the 2-147th Assault Helicopter Battalion who were deployed to Kuwait. Fox Sports North, the Minnesota Wild, and the Metropolitan Airport Commission partnered with Serving Our Troops and the Minnesota National Guard to customize the event in an effort to bring hockey in Minnesota to the men and women serving our country overseas. We're so pleased to be honoring the men and women of the Minnesota National Guard and those... The team effort was apparent, both at the event and throughout Fox Sports North's telecast. Spectators noticed a strong military presence surrounding the refrigerated rink, the first ever built on an active tarmac. High school players from across the state wore custom camouflage uniforms and a military themed logo was incorporated across multiple platforms. I am a hockey fan. I've never played before though. <laughs> this is my first time ever touching a hockey stick. So. This week? Yes, <laughs> today. <laughs> it's more than we ever expected and we all came together and put all this stuff together so I'm, I'm really proud of my soldiers and it's just fun to have everyone out here having a good time. It's a nice change of pace. They think they had fun and really that's what hockey is. It's a fun game whether you're in the NHL or college hockey or might hockey or playing boot hockey in Kuwait, it's supposed to be fun. Thousands of viewers saw footage of a floor hockey game being played by Minnesota National Guard members stationed overseas, as well as live interviews with soldiers and updates from Camp Beering in Kuwait, thanks to a hard-working production team on site. Well, it's been a blast, Jamie, to have uh, Fox Sports North out here and to participate in Hockey Day Minnesota live almost like you're back home. One of the military theme stories featured Ruthie Fix, daughter of Lieutenant Colonel Greg Fix and her Rosemount hockey teammates who wore a replica of the Red Bulls Task Force shield on the back of their hockey helmets to show support for Colonel Fix and all the Minnesota troops overseas. Having this, the sticker on the back of our helmet, it really like kind of inspires me. Heard about Ruthie and heard about what's been going on with her family and we're doing whatever we can to help Ruthie out and give her like that extra boost, extra step, because I know I can only imagine what it would be like without my dad. Right now, this is my, my biggest connection with, uh, with Ruthie. This is the second season I've missed, so the fact that I can connect with Ruthie uh, daily and, and just uh, keep, up, keep up the conversation, that helps a little bit. We initially did this to help support Ruthie and her family throughout the season, but in the end, it's the big picture and you know, not only him, but all the troops. I mean, it, we are so thankful that we get to be here and play this game while they're over serving our country. The theme continued into the evening at the Wild vs. Coyotes game. Let's play hockey! A ceremonial puck drop was coordinated between Lieutenant Colonel Jeff Merricks from Kuwait and his family in St. Paul. <laughs> Additionally, the game was broadcast on the Armed Forces Network so the National Guard troops could enjoy the game and show their fandom on live television. Paul Charlie Coyle scoring, the crowd going wild here, and in Kuwait, the reaction the same. Minnesota with a one nothing lead Additionally, serving our troops and the National Guard worked with the Wild to transport a number of special hockey greats, including Lou Nanny, Bill Butters, Dave Brooks, Tom Reed, and Sean Podine to Kuwait to spend time with the deployed soldiers. Just to be here is, is cool. It's amazing for us to be able to come here and spend some time with them for all they do for us. Fox Sports North provided a platform. The Minnesota Wild contributed resources the Metropolitan Airport Commission's assisted with logistics, serving our troops organized details, and the Minnesota National Guard served as a connector to the military community. Together, the organizations orchestrated a one-of-a-kind event, over 19 hours of programming on Fox Sports North, and the opportunity to bring a small piece of home to those who fight for our freedom.